This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, I give you my favorite iPhone apps for filmmakers. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and last week we shot an entire film with my iPhone 4S as our only camera, and I was really impressed with the outcome. If you haven't seen that episode, you can give it a look-see right here. I'm going to kill the shit out of you, and that's a promise. I'll get that out of you. But now, today, I wanted to continue my ramblings of an iPhone nature and give you my favorite iPhone apps for filmmaking. Why? because it's my show, and also because it's helpful. Today I'm in no mood for procrastination. Well, I kinda am. So look. In order to save Earth from the invasion of the Superiors, they once more must present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature known as Starman. That's fun, haven't done that in a while. Anyway, first app up is for pre-production, and this little ditty is called Scripts Pro. Can you guess what it does? Yep, you write scripts in it. Now this loverly little app is no final draft, but when I'm traveling, I always bust this little bad boy open so I can continue working on the road, or aeroplane. Airplane should fly, and I'm like, wow. You have all the basic musts here, but no bells and whistles, which is fine. One cool thing that it does have is it keeps all your scenes in a nifty little bin, so you can navigate or reorder easily. Right now, the app is going for only six bucks on the App Store, which is pretty great, in this little sailor's opinion. <laughs> Next up, and still in the land o post-production, is Cinemec HD, which is a storyboarding app that I freaking love. It works like this. You open the app, like so, click over to camera, and start taking pictures that will fill out your board. Now right here, I'll just take a few pictures of a dialogue scene, but the cool thing is, once I have my pictures taken, I can jump over to the panel. Here's where you build each panel as you need it. You can add dolly, zoom, or pan tilt movements. You can also add all the necessary arrow instructions. And if you don't have any friends, there's built-in buddies for you to use as stand-ins. Then, when you're all done, you can export a PDF of your boards or a QuickTime movie that will play out the movements you added in. Now this is a great and easy storyboard app which you can utilize for your next project, but it's also a great practice tool. You can test out a lot of visual ideas by stitching your pictures together and then watching it play out as you see in your mind. The downside to this one is the price tag. It's a whopping friggin' 30 bucks, which is not a lot for what you're getting, but still enough to probably deter a few people, I would think. I return Dr. Yamanaka and the blueprints. Third in line, O oh, app fun, is Artemis, which is a digital director's viewfinder. If you don't know what that is, a director's viewfinder is that lens mini telescope looking friggin' device that you see dangling around the necks of directors and cinematographers. It's basically a portable lens system so the director and DP can test different lens choices and angles. This is super helpful for a low budgeter if you're using prime lenses. That way you don't have to continually be switching out your lenses till you get what you want. It's also great practice to switch through these different lens choices on different camera systems to get to know them so when you're on set you can just call out what you need. Now just like the last app, the downside here is the price tag again, which is just like the last one, 30 bucks. But considering that a real director's viewfinder would run you well into the hundreds and sometimes thousands, still a pretty good deal. You're forbidden to talk. All right, we won't do it anymore. Moving on to the fourth app is Movie Slate. This is a great portable digital slate for you to use on your production, and if you have an iPad, you can use the app there as well, and you could actually use that as your main slate to your production. I actually went in depth uh, into this app on another episode right here, so check that out. The app is pretty amazing and does all sorts of great stuff. The price tag here is a bit high as well at $24, but this one is worth every freaking penny and more. Moving right along to the next app in this list O oh apps is Filmic Pro. We just talked about this one last week and gave it a full walkthrough, so if you want to check out this episode, you'll get a total rundown of this app and all that it can do. The app goes for only four bucks, which is great considering that this is by far the best video app for the iPhone. If you want to control your white balance, exposure, and focus, this app is a friggin' must. What? I don't believe you have met my assistant, Barbara Randall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Mrs. Randall, Lieutenant. I'll be right back. I have two more apps for you lovely peoples, but before we jump into it, let's do some sponsoring, some sponsor bits. 
If you're setting up a website to start your business or blogdomain.com is the best place for you to go for your next great idea. You've heard it before a million times here. Domain.com makes it easy to get your domain name and website up and running. You can blog, create a website, showcase your portfolio, make money, set up a new email address, whatever you want really. There's so much you can do. The guys at domain.com love film right and they love you and they want to give you the hookup with 15% off your domain name and web hosting when you use the coupon code filmright when you're checking out at odomain.com. And don't forget, use the coupon code filmright when you think domain names, think domain.com, won't you? Logo. Jumping back into the land of apps and other creatures, iMovie runs for five bucks and is a pretty decent editor for your phone. I mean, even the fact that you can edit on your phone is pretty freaking incredible. Mind you, this is not the most robust editing tool that you can get. It's pretty simple in the things that you can do with it, so I would not forego a proper editor for this, obviously. But if you're trying to do some tests for your project to get everyone on the same page while you're on the go, this is perfect. Whammy. Next is a color correction app from the Red Giant peeps called Movie Looks. I was super skeptical going into this app, and while it doesn't have nearly as much control as I'd like, it's easily the best color correction app for video on the iPhone. First, you grab the video you want to color correct, which you will be prompted at this point to trim the video if you'd like, which is a great addition. I use this a lot, that way I'm not processing unneeded video and taking more time and space on my phone. Then, once you bring it in, you can choose between one of many presets, including a few that will add widescreen bars to your video, which is another great addition. If you want to stay all in camera, you can shoot your video with Filmic Pro using the reference bars, then add the bars in in movie looks later on. Now, once you have your preset selected, you have the option to adjust the strength and brightness like a so, and then develop. You can actually get some really great looks using this app, which is surprisingly low priced at only friggin' two bucks. I really thought this app was going to go for $5 or more, so God bless them red giant peeps. God bless them. Hold me very tightly. Yes. Are you ready? But there you have it, some of my favorite apps for the iPhone. Now I know a lot of you are going to be upset that the Android didn't get any love in this episode, but no one I know has an Android, so I couldn't do any tests. So with that in mind, if any of you know some great apps for the Android, hook up the FilmRite community, won't you? By going to our Facebook here and posting it in the comment section of this episode. Or if you think that there's some more must-have apps for the iPhone that I didn't mention, please post them there as well. And we could all be buddy pals and help each other. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley and I will see you guys next time when I learn karate from my grandpa behind my dad's back so I can fight off some dumb kidnappers. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.